no, no, listen, bro. Let me read Surah 4. When I say it's not true, you know, it's, it's taken out of context. You have to look at the whole context. But ultimately, ultimately, man was created with choice. You see? And man can make his own choices. I know that. Been, but that's been, not Islamic. That's been, not Islamic. I'll tell you why. That's, that's your own watered down version of Islam. Do you know what else is Islamic? Yeah, there's, been, there's been a lot of people who have gone astray from Islam, who have lived criminal lives. And in their last days, they were accepted as Muslims. And they got into heaven. You know, and they were the worst of people. According to who? Well, this, is, this is Islamic history. You need to show me that. Sorry? You need to show me that. Don't just claim stuff. It's Islamic history, man. It's well known. It's well known. There's many hadiths, you know what I'm saying? Surah 465. I give you the reference. You're not giving me no reference here. But no, by your Lord, they will not believe until they make you judge in their disputes then do not find within their hearts any dissent to your verdict and submit in full submission Allah is talking to Muhammad that it, if they have any dispute in their hearts about what Muhammad said then you're not a true Muslim Surah 465 I can read it from 64 in what context is that bro? I can read it from 64 everything here we did not send any apostle but to be obeyed by Allah's need had they when they they wronged themselves come to you and pleaded to Allah for forgiveness and the apostle had pleaded for forgiveness for them they would have surely found Allah all uh, clement or merciful 65 same but as Jesus. No. Jesus said the same thing okay but no by your Lord it says but no by your Lord they will not believe until they make you he's talking to Muhammad a judge in their disputes then do not find within their hearts any dissent to your verdict and submit in full submission and who's, so, who's they? Yeah. You. No, you're a believer. I wasn't there. You're a believer. No, no, no. Who's they? He's talking about they. Uh, be, the believers. He's talking about the believers. No, how do you know? He says they. They will not believe there. Uh, no, he's saying yeah, believe. But, but who's they? You. I wasn't there, bro. That's not me. He's talking to okay. specific people. Okay. So you've got so, to take it to context. So, so if you, you uh, weren't there. You, you weren't there, yeah? No, so no, your standard no, falls flat. Why? No, your standard falls flat. Okay. Does the Surah 2, 256? No, listen, apply for you. Have, you. have you read the Torah and the Bible as well? I have. Okay, so but again, I'm not talking about that. No, no, but you have to take these books into context, bro. Like you're taking it very literally. When you say you, you think he's talking to you. But at the time, he's talking to his people at the time. He, okay, so he's addressing his tribes. Okay, so if you you're, so what you're so saying is that's what he's saying. So he's telling his tribes, man. His okay, what you're America, saying is they don't believe in his message. Yeah. Then, then they are not. Yeah, they, they don't believe in you. It doesn't apply for and, you. No, but he, so the Quran, what I just read here, no, doesn't no. apply for you. Why? Um, look, bro, not that particular verse. It doesn't apply for you, yeah? In my opinion, it doesn't apply for So you me. pick and choose what you want. I'm entitled it's to It's like do a buffet, yeah? I'm entitled to do that. You go to Shepherd's Bush. Don't you? you go to a buffet. Don't you pick and, and choose what you want. No, I don't. You don't. The so Bible is clear. You, you set things, yeah? The Bible is clear. You don't think. Yeah, the Bible is clear. You don't think, you don't have choice, you go, you do exactly The Bible what dictates my thinking. The Bible, so, and, and what, what does the Bible say? How does the Bible, <coughs> love your enemies. Does, Pray for those who despitefully use you. Yeah. What else? Preach the gospel of the kingdom. Expose lies and deception and strongholds like Islam. Very simple. Why do you think but it's your Quran, your, your belief system, you're you picking and choosing like a buffet. I'm not picking and choosing. Yeah, you are. Because you're like, saying this does not apply to you. No, but I think you're picking and choosing. How? Oh. You're picking and choosing. Oh, you're saying it applies to me. It does. Without any it's not Quran. That's your interpretation, man. No, but who are you? That's what I'm saying. Are you a scholar? Like, I mean, it's your interpretation. Like, let's be real. I'm not a scholar in the Quran. Who are you? Okay, so when it's you say. It's interpretation. So when you say in that. In your opinion, I get it says that you think it speaks to me and to. Yes, you know, no, my opinion. No, it's not my opinion. It's what the Quran says. No, no, but in your opinion, that's what it says, bro. <laughs> I don't have an opinion. I'm reading what it says. You're telling me they, and you're saying it's me. Oh, but they and you is not the same in language. They is them, not me. So it's not applying to you. But in your but opinion, the Quran doesn't apply to you. In your opinion, if it applies to me, it also applies to you. So I'm not a believer. Huh? I'm not a believer. You're not a believer. I'm not believing the Quran. But you don't believe in you don't believe in God. I don't believe in the Quran and Allah and Muhammad. I don't believe. But, so, this is about Muhammad. What we just read was about Muhammad. And what was Muhammad preaching? He was, he was, he was preaching. Violence, sex, violence, violence, sex, violence, sex, violence, sex, violence, sex. It continues. That's why he had nine wives. That's why he allowed you to have four wives. That's why he slept with a nine-year-old. That's why he killed 800 Jews in one afternoon. Violence, sex. Only 800. That's all it was. Is that all? Muhammad, yeah. I associate Muhammad with violence and sex. 
That's your opinion? No, that's what the Quran says, that's what the Hadith says. I read the Hadith, he slept with a nine-year-old. That's, that's a Hadith, correct. And Sahih that's, Bukhari, that's, a, that's the Sunnah of Muhammad. What do you find the Sunnah of Muhammad? What else did he do? What else did he do? You know what I mean? Like, you know, we could go and look at say, some of the other prophets. You know, they also had some bad traits. You know, they weren't perfect. You could always find some negative stories and we could focus on just that. As opposed to the wider what picture. positive story that Muhammad had? No, there's a lot, brother. You have Tell to look. me one. Well, look, similarly to Jesus, yeah, whether you like it or not, he's had a massive impact on society. There's so many Muslims. Man. No, no, no. I said there's the so message. Many. Give me one message that was positive. What, what, what I'm saying, again, like, similar to Jesus, yeah, he was preaching the message of God and righteousness. Where? Where? They were preaching where? The where? Message. Where? Show me. Where? Well, he was preaching by the Quran. By the Quran. Yeah. But you just, you just rejected it. I didn't reject the Quran. You said this is not for me. I rejected your opinion. And I, I, I wasn't giving my opinion. No, you did. No, I didn't. No, because you're telling me it speaks to me, but you're not. You're not. In no, a you just said. You just said. You're not in a position to tell me what the Quran says because okay. you're not a scholar. So what? No, no, and if you were, then I would take your opinion. But okay. I know that you're no, not. No, I, I read it from what the so scholar. So you're wrote. like me. You're on my level. No, I read what the so scholar says. No, you did it, bro. Yeah, Sahel Bukhari. That's Sahel Sahel Bukhari. Yeah, did not interpret the Quran. No, I'm talking about the age of consent. No, you said, look, look, what I'm trying to tell you, brother, is that you and I were on the same level. Yeah. So we're no, not, we're not. We are, bro. Trust right? me, we're not. Well, you don't believe in Jesus. You believe I in Muhammad. Believe in Jesus, no, you don't. Of course I believe in Jesus. No, you don't. I have a lot of respect for Jesus. Do you believe he died on the cross? Jesus was a big man. Do you believe he died on the cross? Do I believe that he died on the cross? I believe that he might have, he might have died on the cross. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think anyone truly knows what happened in the end on, on the day. But, I don't but, the Quran, truly but the Quran says he didn't die on the cross. So the Quran, so the Quran gives an interpretation. Christianity can't even explain what really happened to him. Okay, but the but Quran says he didn't die on the cross. Ultimately, what the Quran says is that after that period or during that period, God raised them up to the skies. Yeah, and that's what it says. Raised them up in spirit. To the so did he die on the cross? Yes or no? Maybe, maybe in physical form. His body died. You know what I'm saying? It's possible. It's so you don't believe in Muhammad, do you? Of course I believe in Muhammad. Muhammad said he did not die on the cross. So Muhammad, so I'll read it. No, but again, it's a rough, like, you know, you're, you're, you, have to, you have to open your mind. Yeah? I don't take it very literally. So I understand that, yeah, okay, we all die one day, do you understand? But our souls, I know that. spirits live on. And that's the same story as Jesus. That's exactly what Jesus done as well. So, what, and why couldn't Jesus do that? Exactly. You know, what, the Quran says. Why can't Jesus Jesus, on camera. You're famous, yeah. I have no idea, bro. Anyway, look. People ask for your autograph. All right, let's read. And for their saying, we kill the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the apostle of Allah. That's what we say. Yeah. Though they, they, though they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but it was made to appear to them. Correct. That's what your Quran says. Correct. But you're saying, no, he might have died. No, no, no. So you're disobeying what he says. So, bruv, I acknowledge that he, he's alive in spirit. So. I didn't say that. I said, no, no, no. did he die on the cross? It's possible, bruv. Yeah, and I'm saying it's possible. You are going against what the yeah, Quran because, says. No, because the Quran confirms that he's still alive in spirit. You understand? Like, he's still alive in spirit. You know, so I, I, think, I, think your where, where? I think your interpretation is quite Where does narrow. it say? Though they did not Bro, kill like him, poetry, nor did they crucify him, but it was made to appear to them. So you see, like the thing is, you've got to take these scriptures a bit like poetry. You have to read it between the lines. It's a bit open. You can't read it so literally. Islam is not philosophy, yeah. It's a, so I don't know if you studied a lot of philosophy and you're trying to superimpose your Western culture in Islam. Read Islam the way it's written. It says they did not crucify him. They did not kill him. As a human being, as an intelligent human being, you can't take any scripture too literally. You have to read between the lines, you have to read it with an open point. Of view. Yeah, exactly. So, Muhammad was an intelligent. Uh, he was. He was intelligent. Yeah, so, when he said they didn't crucify him, was that right? Uh, yes, I believe, look, I believe what he said was right, but again, yeah, you have to read in between the lines, you're not, you're not getting my point. Between the lines? You, I think, his, historically, they put a man on the cross, they did put a man on the cross, but whether Jesus was there in spirit... Whether Hist Jesus, historically, it was Jesus. Whether, Josephus says, whether, Tacitus says, uh, Lucian says, the Bible claims. says it. There's a lot of claims, I agree, there's a lot of claims. And then the Quran, all of a sudden, comes and says, no, he didn't do it. Well, only the Quran. Whether he was there in spirit, we don't know. Nobody really knows. Tell him about nobody, uh, nobody can confirm. Uh, convenient revelation. Yeah, but 
the thing is, yeah. No, I think, confirm, bro. Like, I think you need to start real. writing your own Quran. No, I'm just being real, bro. Like, you, you need to start writing your Quran because you're disagreeing no, no, with what the Quran says. I agree with it. Write your I own Quran, and it. then we'll read your version. But you need to read and deeper. We'll, we'll into interpret things. it for you. No, but you look at things in a very narrow way. You have to look at it a bit more deeply than that. You know. So you're the scholar now. Sorry? You say you're not a scholar, but you are able to look things deeper. I think you should when it comes to scripture, yeah, you have to look a bit more But you said you're not a scholar. I'm not only a scholar. scholar. Only scholars can do that. I'm not a scholar of religion, no. But only the scholars can do that, what you're saying. I thought the Quran is... Any, anyone can. Anyone can. I think anyone can. Okay, so... I am saying to you, interpret this for me. So listen bro, like, I, have, I have my interpretation and you've got yours, do you understand? And I'm not saying I'm right and I'm not saying you're wrong, but we can think about it. I am saying way. you're wrong, I'm saying I'm right. Well, According to what the Quran says. That's what I don't believe in, it's okay. That's called conviction. That's your conviction, it's not mine. No, what the Quran says. You fully believe that you're right and that's okay, do you understand? Listen. And, and that's up to you to decide that, but I don't agree but with what you're saying. But the conclusion of the matter is, I think that you're he wrong. did die on the cross for your sin, for my sin, if you don't repent of your sin, you yeah. will die in your sin and yeah. go to hell. We don't want you to end up there. And, you you know need what? to I repent and that. accept and Jesus Christ. And, and I do repent all the time. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I don't accept him as my Lord and Savior. Then no. you haven't repented, I sir. Re I repent to God. I prefer to go straight to the source. You know, he is the source. The Jesus I, said, I, I am understand. the way, the truth and the life. He but is yeah, the he truth. Was, yeah, he showed. He showed us the way to the truth and the life, but he's not physically. Lord. No, but he said he he's is the God. truth. He represents the truth, absolutely. No, he said he is. He speaks, he speaks the truth. He's the truth. Right, he speaks the truth. I agree with him. No, that. he said he is. You know, you know okay, he is speaking the truth, the truth yeah, and the truth. being the truth are two yeah, different exactly. things. But I don't worship the truth, you know. I follow the truth. I practice it. I like the truth, you know. But I don't worship the uh, truth. You pick and choose again. Uh, not at all. Like the Shepherd's Bush buffet, yeah? But what, pick and choose what, what you want. Why would you worship the truth? Like, because what, he what is, is God. What is the truth? The truth is God. Listen, man, that's what I'm saying. So now, now you're starting to think deeply, because, you know. So now you're starting to look God in many ways. And to you, you, you see God to be I've been looking at that truth. for a very long time. Is he only the truth or is he more things I than that? I never said that. I said, yeah, is God more, is the truth. Is he more things than that as well? God is life. Correct. Is God also, is he's holy. Also he's also love. God is love. So There's there so go. many attributes. There you go. So now you're thinking deeply. And I agree with you. Yeah, but I'm saying to you, Jesus is that. Jesus is God. You know what, brother? And you're not believing in what Jesus says. I, I, I do believe So you're going to go to hell. No, I believe in what he says. So I believe in what he says. You believe he's the truth? I don't believe. Like, a lot of people. So it was at, at the end of the day, after he died, and nobody knew what happened to him, the way he went, and they couldn't find his body, right? After the third day, after they buried him. And then suddenly, you know, he had his four disciples who came out and made records a few years later. These are, this is the knowledge. 500 witnesses. This is the knowledge. Eyewitness. Fine. 500. Fine. But this is the knowledge that we have of Jesus, you know, it's second hand at the end of the day. And again, it's open to First hand. It's not, it's second hand. It's eyewitness, it's not sir. Him. It's eyewitness. So it's second eyewitness. It's, not, it's not his words. It is it's, his words. It's, not, it's people writing down. So it's yeah, the word writing his it's words. It's the word of Paul, Peter, and all those other men. That, that no, it's not. They're writing his words. Yeah, but it's the Gospels but, were yeah, Jesus' book, it's, words. It's the book of Job and the book of Paul and so on and so forth, right? The book of Job is the Old Testament. Okay, fine. We're talking about the Gospels. Paul didn't write the Gospels. So Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Fine, right, them boys. Yeah, yeah. They wrote the Gospels, correct? They are eyewitnesses. Yeah, yeah, no, actually, to... Luke wasn't an eyewitness. So it's their statement. Matthew and John. That's their, that's their thesis, isn't it? That's what they wrote and put down and gave to the world. That's what yeah, but we have like plenty of evidences to show that. First century. I'm not disputing that. I'm you not, are disputing no, I'm not. I'm You're just, just picking and choosing no, what you want. I'm not disputing that. I'm just saying that's that's the story that we've been given of Jesus. Do you understand? And, I'm also and if open, you don't believe in that, you're going to, to hell, sir. Also open to the fact that they spoke a different language back in those days and it got translated two or three times before you read the Bible. And it, and he got lost in translation. So he became, we were all children of God and then he became the son of God. You know, it was in Greek, and then the three. So it wasn't eight, it was an Aramaic that they used to speak, and then it got translated into ancient Greek, and then into Latin, and then into English, yeah, no. French, Italian, English. By the time you read it, bro, there were eyewitnesses. By the time you read it, we're reading the same thing. So you need to be open listen to, to this. Well. Listen to what she says. No, that's in English, bro. That's not the original Bible. So you need to read the original Bible. No. Well, no, you have to. Well, hang on. You need to. You need to. You need to accept that point. Listen. Look, it got lost in translation. You cannot. You cannot judge Christianity with the same token of Islam. Islam says you have to read in Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. 
We can read it in any language. Absolutely. Absolutely. Our God speaks but if you get, every language. If you want to get to the truth, all the languages. What, what language did Jesus speak in? You know, that's the truth. You know, so you need yeah, but, to, yeah, but, you need yeah, to but listen and Jesus Christ that language. reaches people in their language too. If they don't understand Greek, he reaches them in their own language. No, in their words. language. Our God doesn't have a problem with English. You have a problem with English because you're believing in Islam. I don't have a problem and they with English. Are hiding behind Arabic every week. I'm just saying, man, like you get lost in translation. But this is not lost in translation. If you speak more than one language, you'd understand how very difficult it is to translate from one language. We know that, but and maybe, this has you know, been translated the way it has been written in Greek, as, you know, as closely as possible. No. Yeah, and and there's human error as well that you need to factor in. Some men can make mistakes. Then how is it that we shall hear them in his own? Uh -huh. Look, this is our God. He's multi. Multi. But your God, you know your God is Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. I'm not moving. It's just Arabic. I'm not moving. But even the Arabic disagrees with what you're saying. So I don't know what. I don't know how you're gonna. In the Quran, all right, six one four and seventy-four. Allah knows the name of Abraham. In my Bible, the name of uh, Abraham, the father of Abraham is Terah. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in the name in the Quran is Azza. Do you know what, so guys? You know what, guys? Allah, honestly, that's Allah gets it wrong. Is he God? Do you know what, guys? That's, look, I respect your opinion. I respect your beliefs, man. It's really cool that you guys are very dedicated to your cause. That's cool. I respect that. You know. But I want to ask you a question as well. So, so the Old Testament. But wait, 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 wait. No, no. Before you ask, according to Islam, you're not supposed to respect us. Listen, again, that's not true. I, I don't so know. you're not a Muslim. No, I am a Muslim. So Islam. according to Islam, that's you're not, not supposed true. to respect okay, us. I'm not familiar with the Islam that you're preaching. But I'm sorry. Surah five, Surah five, Surah five, fifty one. He says, he says you're not supposed to respect anyone. Really. You're not supposed to be friends with them. They are friends of one another. No, that's incorrect, bro. That's incorrect. You, you've been misinformed. You've been misinformed. No, you've been misinformed. No, you've been misinformed. The Quran. You guys have been misinformed. The Quran, without the Torah, the Psalm, the Zabur, the Injil, Islam will never exist. No, that's not true. That's not true because, again, you know, Islam, Islam, Islam confirms Jesus. Islam came to confirm the same message. Let's see. Let's see what the Quran says. Let's see what the Quran says about us. All you who have faith, do not take the Jews and Christians for friends. They are friends of each other. Any of you who be friends with them is indeed one of them. Indeed, Allah does not guide the wrongdoing lots. So if you are respecting us, okay. yeah, yeah, that means you're the wrongdoer. You know what? May God judge me for that. You know, that's fine. That's that's fine. You know, that's fine. I don't care. I don't care what people say, but can I show you a verse on your phone? About what? It's from the Quran as well. It's a, it's show me. It's Where? a positive verse. Well, if you, are you going to go to Surah 532? Uh, probably not. Probably not. I don't know that verse off by heart. You see, like, you seem to know. There. Off by heart. Thank you. You seem to. I'm, I'm just going to do a quick, quick little Google search. Where do you want to go? Google. Alright, search it. No, 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 just like. Yeah, search, just search. Oh, no, yeah, just tell him bring it. No, you seem to know all the negative, like, like verses off by heart. But I'll find you some nice positive ones. You know, they also have, in history, yeah, they've got recorded documents of peace treaties with the Prophet and Christian communities. You know, like, like actual alliances. When Muhammad killed him. No, he didn't. No, it's, it's, it's an alliance. It's a, it's, that's why it's a peace treaty. It's a historic document. It's undisputed. Like, you can't deny that's it. That's a lie. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's historic. No, it's from the BBC. Like. BBC. <laughs> no, BBC, the biggest propaganda. Oh, so you also pick and choose now, yeah? I don't go to BBC for, to find out about Islam. I go to the Quran and the Hadith. Yeah, you pick and choose. And the Tafsir. Right, so I don't go to BBC. See, yeah, I pick and choose in that sense. I go where the source is, not the resource. What does the Quran say about Christ Christians? Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> Okay, guys. 
So Islam and Christianity actually have a great deal in common, including some, some of the same prophets. So can, can you can you explain? Can you address this point? Are you familiar? What scripture with is that, sir? You, you went to Google. No, no, no. Someone, some called thought.com. Again, look. The again, Quran. We need the Quran, sir. So look. Do you not? Do you, so you disagree with the fact that Islam and Christianity have a lot in common? Do you disagree with that? No, no. It's not about that. You want to show me no. something good about Muhammad or Islam? Show me. Well, I'm waiting. Well, look, I, I just have, all right, very quickly, without having to go into detail, I just showed you that if you believe that Christianity is the truth, that's what you just said. Yeah, so Islam and I never Christianity said have... I never said, said, I said Jesus is the truth. And he, okay, and he's a Christian, right? So, and no, he, Jesus is not a Christian. Whatever, no. he's fine. He's not a Christian? No. So, do you follow Christianity? No, I follow Jesus. You follow Jesus. So the Christianity is a pagan term. I follow Jesus Christ. You know what, let's just be easy. Like, the majority of people follow Jesus. I'm Christian. not talking about people, I'm talking about the Bible. You know, there's seven the Bible, offenses, the, there's some, the, you know... The, I don't they, care about that. They're, they're wrong. They're, they're a particular Christian. They're wrong. I'm talking about what the Bible clearly says. So, I mean, like, they follow the same Bible as you, if I'm not mistaken. No. What Bible do you follow? 66 Bible. Which one? The 66 Bible, Genesis to Revelation. The 66 Bible. 66 books in the Bible, yeah. Genesis yeah, but, to Revelation. Okay, but which version? Like, is there a version? Like, no, every version. I'm going to read the Bible that you're reading. Every version, every version. Every version. Every version. Yeah. So they don't follow the same Bible? No. What Bible are they following? They have extra extra biblical verses. What the King James Bible? That's 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 translation. That's that's yeah. that's, that's uh, yeah, but versions. But you're talking about sects in I, Christianity. I just, I just want to read the Bible. Pure read, read 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 the NIV. It's, it's very complicated. Read the NIV. Huh? Read the NIV New International Version. The New International Version. Who wrote so that? now show me. Who wrote the New International Version? <laughs> Uh, I don't remember his name. Show me in Islam the good things about Islam and Muhammad. In the Quran or the Hadith. Oh, so, oh, oh, cool. You see, not only is the Quran contradicts itself. Now, just now, Daniel has shown you that the Quran says we do not, uh, uh, we should not be friends to Christianity. And you know, right here, it says, as for such of the unbelievers. As do not fight against you on the power of your faith, and neither drive you far from your homeland. God does yeah. not forbid you to show kindness and to behave towards them with full respect. For verily, God loves those who act yesterday. So one part of it says, don't be friends, and the next minute, it says, so the Quran is very contradictory. Big time. Big time. That's probably the good thing about the Quran. Yeah. Are you able to? Uh... We need to wrap up because the camera can't go on yeah, forever. Just yeah, just edit, edit. Six Quran quotes that teach love, tolerance, and freedom of religion. Bang. Cool. He's a Google man. You know? Well, I mean, you know, you asked me to find out Google. What's, I did. What's your name? I didn't ask you to find any. Anyway. I said, show me the scripture. No, no, no. Do you know what this was? Is Allah is speaking to who? That there's no compulsion in religion. Is that the one you just? I believe, yeah, I believe that. Yeah, it's true. You know? Everyone has a freedom of choice. No, no. That's been abrogated, bro. No, no, no. By who? No, no. Do you know? So who said it first? Okay, wait. I don't want to interrupt. Wait, who said it first? Do you know what this was? That, uh, that Allah is speaking to. He's speaking to the Jews. But the next one. Follow, follow the next one. Exactly. So show us in the Quran of what you're talking about. Yeah, did, 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 oh, here you go. So Quran, chapter two, verse two zero eight. Did you know about that? Did I know about it? Yeah. Bro, you know what? Like I'm not a scholar. I'll admit, you know. But I'm not a scholar either. I'm okay, not asking fine. you if you're a scholar. You know, but it's a verse and a chapter in the Quran. All right, go, you ask for. go on. Go on. And this is a verse that's similar to the Bible. Okay. Oh, you believe? Enter absolutely into peace. Yeah. Do not follow in the footsteps of Satan. He is an outright enemy to 
you. No, this is very similar to stuff. So that's two Muslims. That's no, to, no, that's to, no, it says all you who believe. So I mean, look, that's not to me. Again, it can be open. Anyone who wants to believe in God. So no, anyone who wants to believe in, in God. Why are you doing your own tafsir? It says all you who believe. Yeah, who believe in God? Absolutely. So, so that's two so, Muslims, not to me. Listen, bro. That's anyone who believes in God. That's anyone. This is talking to anyone. Do you consider me? Do you consider me as a Muslim? Do you believe in God? I believe in Jesus Christ as God. So you believe in a God? Do you believe in creation? I believe Jesus Christ is God. So fine. But the Quran fine, says, fine. do not believe Jesus Christ is God. Quran. So it's not talking about me. It's talking about you. In your opinion, that's fine. Actually, you, I don't think you're a Muslim. It's not, it's not talking about you. It's talking about the Muslims. There you go. This is another one about freedom of thought that you, you don't believe in. Yeah. God does not forbid you from being good to those who have not fought you in the religion or driven you from your homes or for being just towards them. God loves those who are just, you know. Where is that? In uh, chapter 8. So chapter 8. Chapter 8 verse 1. No, 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 no. Let's read what the Quran says. Chapter 8 verse 1. It doesn't say the verse. It doesn't say the verse. Why well, doesn't quote the verse? But well, it's in chapter eight. You'll find that easily. You know, it's not. It's not chapter eight. Right. Let me let me help you out. Surah Al Mutahana. Yeah, they, they they have names. Yeah. Yeah. Then maybe it's verse eight of that surah. It is. There you go. Al Mujadila. No, Mutahana. Fine. Go to verse 8. She, that's what she read to you earlier on. Allah does not forbid you in regard to those who do not make war against you on account of religion and do not expel you from our homes. That you deal with them with kindness and justice. Indeed, Allah loves the just. That's a nice verse. Yeah. Would you not agree? I don't agree with that. Why? Don't, why? why don't you agree? That's a nice verse. Allah forbids no, you only in regard to those. That's talking about love, peace, and kindness. Like why, not to why? me. Not to me. What do you mean not, not to, to you? Me. It's talking about to people. It says to people. Okay. Are you not a person? Okay. So when it says yeah. fight those who don't believe in Allah in Surah 929, how do you reconcile that with this? So again, look, look, man. You, you got to take some of these verses into context, okay, okay? And you have to, you have to look at that. You can't just look at verses in isolation. If you do that, you're always going to. I said to, reconcile Surah 929 with this one. It's a very narrow interpretation. You understand? So you're no. looking at things. So when you're, so you're saying when you're saying it's peace and love, that's not narrow, yeah? yeah. That's wide. Uh, yes, correct. It's wide. It's because you're comfortable with it. That's why. What do you mean That's why. I, I think when the truth people. comes in, you're like, no, 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 you don't need to be narrow. But you know be what? Wise. There's also verses in the Bible, in, in the version that you read, that talk about war and like death and killing and stuff like that. It's in also the Old in Testament, the, yeah. It's also in the Old Testament. And it's but we're not commanded to do that. You as a Muslim are commanded to fight me and kill me. That's not true, bro. That's not true. Again, that's the interpretation. Like once upon a time, you know. Like, once upon a time. Once upon a time in the Torah. You might be good Bible. at bedtime stories, but no, we're not in bedtime now, sir. There's know, no bro. once upon a time here. Like you have to be real when you read these things, bro. You need to be honest with yourself, and I, I don't think you are. You're like you cut, you're big. So, so when it says by those who don't have faith in Allah, what does that mean? Surah nine twenty nine. Until they pay the tribute of hand, so he's talking again about like paying about the jizya. Agreement. Yeah, about a jizya. Correct. If I don't pay jizya, what happens to me? So, so the, you fight me. Yeah, oh, there's a dispute. Yeah, for sure, man. There's but a why would I pay jizya if I don't believe in Allah? Huh? If you don't believe in Jesus, I don't force you to pay jizya. So I pray for you to believe so in Jesus. So the, whole, the whole point of jizya was that when when the Muslims were ruling over other nations and other religions, those religions had to pay a tax to them. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That's what Jizya is. It's because they were in poverty. That's what Jizya is. It's because they were in poverty. Who? The Muslims were in poverty. Surah 28 says it here. Surah 928, it says it here. Should you fear poverty, Allah will enrich you out of His grace if He wishes. And then Surah 929 says they pay the Jizya because they're in poverty. Can I? Fine, whatever you want to call it. It's a tax system. Okay. It doesn't like, say tax. It's, well, it doesn't it say tax. It was a tax. It's an extortion. It was a tax. It's an extortion. It's, it's a tax. It's because we don't believe in Allah. That's what taxes are. No. You pay tax. I pay tax here. 
I pay tax if I don't believe in the Queen. Yeah, I can still your, pay tax. No, She's not going to kill me. You go to jail if I don't believe in the Queen. If you don't believe in the Queen, if you don't pay your taxes. Okay, but it's got nothing to do with my belief. Yeah, absolutely. But but in Islam, it's got to do with my belief. If I don't believe in Allah. I in, have to pay. It. And if you don't believe in the Queen and you don't pay your taxes, yeah, you go to. Jail. I don't believe in the Queen, yeah. but I pay my taxes. Yeah, if not, you'll go to jail. Exactly. You have yeah, no but other way. Islam is it's different. Though. Islam is no, it's not. If I don't believe in Allah, I have to pay jizya. And Correct, it's, it's the okay. same. If you don't believe in the Queen, like you just said, you don't believe in the Queen, but you still pay you're your tax. You're not even making sense. No, no, you're not, bruv. You just, said, you just said right now, you don't believe in the Queen, yet you still pay your tax. They don't, they believe, don't kill me. They, they, they don't, don't fight me. They put you in no jail. one fights me. Back in the day, they used to kill you. Today, no. they put you in jail. No, no one fights me. Back in the day, I don't believe in the Queen, I pay the tax. Back in the day, you used to get but beaten, but today, they put you in jail. So it's a different what, story. What if I believe in the Queen? If you, if you didn't pay your tax, whether, whether you believe in the Queen or not, yeah. like these guys, whether they believed in God or not, if they didn't pay their tax, yeah. Say tax. This is not tax. This is a tax. No, it's not. It is. Show me. Show you what. Type it wrong. Google it yourself. Type it. It does not say tax. Google it, bro. Google it. Just type I'm it. I'm not going to Google. I'll go to Sahel Bukhari. Don't be scared. Just I'll go to Sahel Bukhari. I don't no, no, go Google. Just answer your own question. Is this your tax? And it will tell you very quickly. Yes, it is. And if can I come back to it? Maybe you wrote that. Yeah, no compulsion. Oh, no, I don't, bro. I don't, I don't have time for those things. I'm not going to lie. Let's get back to the, the no compulsion in religion. Okay? That's what you got. Yeah, but listen, man, listen. Wait. Surah 2191. They are below. We're going to Google that now. We're going to wrap up. So, so it says here, turn it here, is a historical term referring to non Muslims turn it to me, I'll wrap living up, yeah. in an Islamic state. I'll wrap up. Why? Why do they need legal protection? Why do they need legal protection? So, so the question here, Why? it's funny, it's funny that this man here is saying jizya is a tax. Even if we give him the benefit of the doubt, jizya is a tax. Guys, yeah? guys, Why would I pay jizya as a sign of humiliation? I, so sad for you. I don't believe in Allah. Okay. Thank and you. I'm paying well, Jizya as a tax, as a sign of humiliation, which is not right. What kind of God makes you pay Jizya as a sign of humiliation? But Sahel Bukhari never says Jizya as a tax. Why? The Quran never says Jizya as a tax. He cannot show me from the Quran any hadith that Jizya is a tax. Jizya is payment as a sign of humiliation to Jews and Christians. If we don't pay it, we're supposed to be killed. Christianity doesn't teach that. Come to Jesus, he says, repent and accept me, come to know who I am. And he says, I have died for you so that you can be saved. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, which means go to hell and have everlasting life. If you want everlasting life, come to Jesus Christ. I am, I am, but amen.